Hello everyone, it's Living Online here for Server Pro, and today I'll be showing you how to download and set up the Troll Ultimate plugin. Firstly, I'll be showing you a brief overview of what the plugin is and what it does, and then I'll show you how to set it up on your own server. The Troll Ultimate plugin brings a few commands to the game that allow a player to troll others on the server. When you're in game, all you have to do is type slash troll ultimate and enter to open the troll menu. Then you'll be able to select the player you want to troll by clicking on their head. On this menu, there are many things you can do, such as freezing a player, which will look like this. The player won't be able to move. You can also drop an anvil on the player, ending them instantly. Not just that, but you can make a player lag. This means that when they walk around, their game will be all buggy. You can even reverse a player's messages, so whenever they type, the text comes up backwards. If at any point you want to stop one of the continuing trolls, you just have to open the menu and deselect it. There are many other awesome troll options you can experiment with, and the creator is working on more pages on the menu that will be coming in the future. For this reason, we recommend you download this plugin yourself and test it out on your server. In order to set the plugin up on your server, you'll have to download it, which you can do by heading to this page. The link to it will be in the description. When you're there, all you have to do is click on the download now button on the right and that will automatically download the .jar file. When it's done downloading, we recommend dragging it to your desktop so it's easier to follow the next few steps. To set up the Troll Ultimate plugin on your server, you'll have to head to the server.pro website. When you're there, head into your server's control panel. At the server dashboard, make sure that your server's type is set to paper and that the version is compatible with the plugin version. You can find what version the plugin supports on the plugin page. At the moment, it states that 1.19 is the only compatible version, but this may change in the future, so please check before continuing. Before proceeding, make sure the server is offline, and then you can head to the Files tab. There you'll see a plugins folder. Double click that folder to open it up, and once it's open, all you have to do is drag in the Troll Ultimate plugin file you downloaded earlier. It'll take a millisecond to upload, so when that's done, you can turn your server on. In the meantime, you can head to the console. There you'll know that the plugin is set up on the server correctly when it says Troll plugin started. If your server is still online when installing the plugin, please restart your server fully to enable the plugin. Please don't do slash reload. This can cause errors. To make sure everything is working as intended in game, you want to head to your dashboard and copy the host name. Afterwards, start up your Minecraft application and when the game is open, head to the multiplayer section. Click add server and in the server address section, paste the host name. When that's done, double click to enter your server. After the server has finished loading up, you can test out the plugin. As you can see, if I type in slash troll ultimate in the chat, it opens up the troll menu. If the same happens for you, that means you've set up the plugin on your server correctly. However, if it doesn't, it may mean that you missed a step in the tutorial, so make sure to go back and refollow them. Well, that's it for this video. If you have any more questions, make sure to leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to see more from our channel. Thank you for watching.